Time to watch some Dharma. Great work out, man. Hey, you two, I see you doing your thing, boy. Gentlemen, give us a moment. Uh, what's up, coach? Trent Michael, I've got some bad news. I really hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to cut you both from the team. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to cut you both from the team. Whoa. <laughs> what? You can't be serious, coach. I've been catching every pass come my way, and Mike just had two interceptions last game. The NFL is a business. It's nothing personal. Coach, please. Football's my life. Our lives. All I ever wanted to do was... If it's your life, how come you're not just... Serious football? Isn't that me? Be somebody and inspire people. It's my chance. <laughs> Son, I hate to break this to you, but guys like you don't inspire people. You're lucky to have made it this far. I'm sorry. Coach! Hey, you can just go to... <coughs> Crazy, man! Yeah, you can just go somewhere else to do football. Or you could just do football at your house. So that's it? I mean, what am I supposed to do now? Football's all I know. I don't know, yo. I gotta go clean my hair. Oh, hey Trent, hey. we were just talking about you. Man, we are so proud of you. My own son is an NFL player. Who would have thumped that? Oh no, he isn't. Mm -hmm. Trent, is that it? Okay. They cut me, Mom. Just like that. What? What are you talking about? Then you're the best player on that team. I know. I don't know what to say. It's over. I'm done with football. I wonder why they say the NFL stands for not for long. What? Bruh, just do football and you... Just do football at a different place. Or just do foot or teach football to yourself outside. Honey. I am so sorry for what happened, and I know that you are upset right now, but I promise everything is going to be okay. Oh, Ma, you don't understand. Football is my life. I thought I'd inspire people. But what am I supposed to do now? You don't need football to be somebody or to inspire people. You can do that anyway. When one door closes, another one opens. You just yeah, just do that. Have to have faith. No, ma. The only door I had was football. Now that that's gone, there's nothing left. Bro, go to a different place. I'm sorry, I let you guys down. Son, come on. Trent, don't think that way. Trent's mom and dad feel so bad for him. You can literally just do that. Now that his dream of being an NFL player is shattered, he decides to put down the football and picks up a bottle of alcohol instead. He drinks every day to try and take away his pain. 
but it only makes things worse. Wow. Then one day, he gets some news that is going to change his life forever. Trent? Trent Shelton? Hey, man, look, I just want to say I'm sorry. Sorry for what, man? Well, I, I heard what happened with Michael, and I just knew how close you were with him. What happened to Michael? What are you talking about, man? I'm, I'm sorry, man. I, I thought you knew. What happened to him? Yeah. He's gone. He ooped. He's a ooped man. found him this morning, he took his own life. No. No. It's all over the news. I'm really sorry, Trent. Please tell me that isn't real. Trent, I'm sorry, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Not Michael, man. Trent. like not concerned that how is the mom not concerned that he, he didn't do that like I don't think they, they feel like I was in danger at all and now the ambulance is literally outside the ambulance is outside right now what's wrong are you alright what's wrong <laughs> Is Michael took his life? Oh, I am so sorry. I should have been there for him. I still can't believe. Hey, 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 baby! It is not your fault, and there is nothing that you could have done. I, I don't understand. Why would he do something like that? I don't know, but I should have called him more. I should have known something was wrong. And you. Not blame yourself for this, okay? I mean, I just wish I could talk to him, you know? I mean, just because football didn't work out doesn't mean he doesn't have any other options. I mean, when one door closes, another one opens, right? Oh my god. That's what you guys were trying to tell me all along. I was heading down the exact same path. I haven't been wanting to be so hard on you. We were just so worried about you. Trent, you have not been yourself at all lately. Yeah, you've been drinking. Have you not noticed that at all? You know what? I promise, from this point forward, I'm going to turn my life around. No more partying, no more drinking. Ooh. <laughs> so they knew. And they didn't take the alcohol out of his hand. You have no idea how happy that makes us James. I want to become somebody. And inspire people. Even if it isn't through football. I'm not going to let Michael's life be for nothing. <laughs> I want everybody to know his story. Son. We are so proud of you. <laughs> when you found inspiration... Trent decides to rehab his life and turn it all around. He yeah, you already said that. You didn't have to say that again. He throws away all the bottles and commits himself to finding a new path. A path of inspiring others. Who just leaves alcohol in their house? He begins making inspirational videos, sharing his story with the world. 
He uploads them on Facebook and YouTube. And before long, starts getting... Welcome to my inspirational YouTube channel. Trent Shelton. I already do this, but I always look at... Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm gonna have to do first everything. All new. I had nothing to do with anything. Getting a lot of views. Trent goes on to tell his story about rehabbing his own life to small crowds, which eventually turn into really big crowds. Trent finally starts living the life that he always dreamed of. A life that he knows... They definitely took that clip from a concert or something. So... Michael would be proud of. And then one day, he happens to run into an old acquaintance. Trent? I can't believe it's you. I'm a huge fan. I'm here to listen to you speak, and I just wanted to let you know that you've inspired me more than you will ever imagine. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Can I get a picture? Sure. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Trent? Oh, it's him. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's definitely been a while. You have a gray beard now. You know, I haven't seen you since. Since you come here. You said guys like me would never inspire people. I remember. Yeah. Hey, I'm really sorry about that. It's okay, coach. I forgave you a long time ago. Why are you here? I'm actually here to hear you speak. You know, I'm a big fan. Hey, I even read your book. Wow. That's great. You think you might want to come by the locker room sometime? You know, I bet if you talk to a few of my players, you could really inspire them. Sure, coach. I'd love to. Great. Then uh, I'll give you a call sometime then. Huh? Why are you calling him coach even though he's cut you? He isn't even a coach anymore, bro. So why do you call him coach? Is it because he is a coach? Hey, it was really great seeing you. Great seeing you, too. Oh, you know, I have to know. How did you do it? You know, bounce back after getting cut. Well, I just realized when one door closes, another one opens. Just got to keep the faith, coach. We'll see you later. Hey, Darman fam. I hope you guys love that message. I'm going to let my boy Trent tell you what it was all about. My story was about this. What's up, Darman fam? When one door closes, another door will open. And look, sometimes certain things have to end in your life so better things can begin in your life. Wow, I really love that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please remember, we're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. <laughs> just like Trent's changing so many lives, he also has his own YouTube channel. So make sure you guys subscribe. His link will be down in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Lewis, that's the second test you failed this month. It's because he's dumb. Who wants to read? Lewis. It's on our students. Is there a problem? He brain can't I'm read. I'm afraid you don't belong in this class.